So today we're just going to have a look at Fronius. If your Wi-Fi was connected previously and it's just disconnected and taking you away from the app, first point of contact straight into the board, main switch inverter to off, and up to your inverter supply, DC disconnect. There's a little bit of resistance there. We just give it that little bit of an extra push until it's disconnected. Then we wait for five minutes, do the opposite of what we've just done. So turn on your DC disconnect. Back to your main switch. And then we'll wait for your inverter to supply again. So after we've waited around two minutes for the inverter to finally turn itself on, we should see a green light and a blue light showing we're connected back to the internet. Now if this is red, now it's time for the next steps. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Snap Solar Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the Feronius Gen 24 and we're gonna run over how to reconnect the Gen 24 to your home Wi-Fi. Now this can be used if you change modems, i.e. from Telstra to Optus or vice versa, or if you simply wanna reconnect your unit to home Wi-Fi. All you're going to need to complete this task is a smartphone device and your home Wi-Fi password. So let's get stuck into it. Okay guys, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our mobile device, go into our mobile device and we're going to open up Solar Start. Once we're into Solar Start, we're going to select Start Setup and we're going to select Gen 24. Now what we're asked to do is to open the inverter access point. Now that's done by touching the LED sense button here in the middle. And now that we have a flashing illuminated blue Wi-Fi light, our gateway is opened and we're able to establish Wi-Fi connection. The next section we're asked to scan the QR code of the inverter. That's located on the left-hand side of the Fronius inverter or right-hand side if you're looking at it face on. Okay, for this section guys, we're going to skip the firmware update and that's gonna take us through to the inverter's interface. Now that we're at the inverter's inter interface, we're gonna go to the top right hand corner, to the drop down menu, and we're going to select communication. And you can see here that communication is locked. And to access communication, we will need the customer password. Now this was provided to you on installation or maybe the same as your, uh, as your Veronius Solar Web password. Now, if you're unsure of your Feronius password or if you're able, unable to gain access at this section, you can select forgotten password. Now, this will generate a pin. And what you need to do with this pin is you need to call Snap Solar, give them this pin and we can reset your customer password. This can only be done for Snap Sol existing or current Snap Solar customers. So you enter your, enter your customer password. and select login. Okay, now, we have en now we're into the inverter's web interface and we are able to access our network. So we select the drop down menu again and we select network. So we're gonna select Wi-Fi, select the available Wi-Fi network that you'd like to connect to and enter the home Wi-Fi password. Once entered, hit connect.
Okay. Now you can see that our home Wi-Fi has successfully been connected to the inverter. Give this about half an hour to an hour, guys, and you will see that updated on your solar web or through your app. And you've now successfully connected your inverter or reconnected your inverter to your home network. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more Snap Solar Tech Talks. Cheers.